In addition to the crowns and the gold and silver and precious stones, certain saints will be rewarded with authority over cities. In Luke chapter 19, beginning with verse 11, the Lord spoke a parable about the kingdom of God. Beginning in verse 12, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by training. Each servant was given a pound. Did you notice that in verse 13? A pound is an English currency. Today it is called the pound sterling. When the first servant reported his earnings, he had multiplied the original pound ten times. Therefore, the Lord gave him authority over ten cities. Listen to verses 16 and 17. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. Likewise, the man who multiplied his pound five times was given authority over five cities. Listen to verses 18 and 19. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said likewise to him, Be thou also over five cities. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the authority these men got from trading their pounds will be given to them during the 1,000-year reign of the Lord Jesus Christ on this earth. You read about that in Revelation chapter 20 and verse 6. Now, look what happened to the servant who did nothing with his pound. He lost that pound, and he was given no authority. Continue on with verse 20. Another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept, laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man, thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury? And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. Furthermore, in verse 24, notice that his pound was given to the man that had the ten. So he lost the pound that he had, and he lost the rule. You see, not only do men get to rule over cities, they also get to keep what they've earned for Jesus Christ. And in the case of sluggards like the man who hid his pound in the napkin, you might even get to keep what they lose. Like a man said, work for the Lord. The pay may not be that great, but the retirement plan is out of this world. Then again, the pay may be greater than you think. At the end of the parable, the man who laid up his pound in a napkin lost his pound. But he was not thrown out. In other words, a Christian will not lose his salvation at this judgment. The enemies of the Lord are the ones who lose their salvation. They're the ones who are slain in verse 27. Listen, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Listen to what 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 15 says. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so is by fire. So it's possible, therefore, to lose rewards at the judgment seat of Christ, but not your salvation. One of the surest ways to lose rewards is to do nothing for the Lord after you get saved. So, with all of these potential rewards awaiting you, it's imperative that you present your body as a living sacrifice to the Lord and start letting Him use you to do exactly what He wants to do through you for the rest of your earthly life. As the saying goes, only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. Be warned, this is not going to be an easy judgment. Paul said, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, 
we persuade men. Get ready 